Hey guys, it's me Anne, and this is Beauty With Me. If you guys have been watching my show for a while, you know that I'm pretty much up for anything. So when I found out that people go through tons of trials just to test deodorant, I was like, yeah, okay, I gotta try that. Lucky for me, Secret invited me back to their clinical testing labs in New Jersey where they put my body through the ringer to see how well their clinical strength antiperspirant actually works. But I couldn't do a video about antiperspirant without addressing the controversy around the use of aluminum salts, which is the compound that basically plugs your pores so you don't sweat as much. There's a lot of conflicting information about the use of this ingredient because some studies have indicated that aluminum has been linked to diseases like Alzheimer and cancer, although associations like the American Cancer Society, National Cancer Institute, and the Alzheimer Association have all reported that aluminum is safe to use. I personally use natural deodorant on the day to day and then I'll use the antiperspirant on days that I know I'm gonna be sweating a lot. It is all up to your personal preference, what you wanna do or not. To prepare for the test, I wore this deodorant on one arm for three days and no deodorant on this arm for three days as well. What we're doing here is we need to take some data from you. Okay. One, make sure you're healthy and also take a few data points that'll show what your state is right now because we're going to be taking several other measurements on your heart rate, for example, through the day. Put it in the, between your cheek and and gum there. What we're sampling here is your cortisol level. So cortisol is a stress hormone, okay. right? And so cortisol levels can increase when you feel stressed. Put it right in there. Secret's testing process is pretty unique because they test for two different kinds of sweat. Didn't know there were two different kinds of sweat, did you? Apparently, there's stress-induced sweat and physical activity-induced sweat. And guess what? They both smell different. For that reason, Secret has two different tests that they do, the first of which is the stress test. Good luck. Okay. Hello. Please have a seat. Okay. I'll be honest, this test was really terrifying. No joke, it was like something out of Clockwork Orange. During this exercise, you'll have your heart rate monitored and you will undergo a moderately stressful mental and physical tasks. At the end of the test, we're gonna keep you here to make sure that your heart rate has returned to normal. It will also do another saliva test just to uh, monitor your cortisol. Again, I'm gonna need you to follow all of my instructions explicitly. Do you understand? Okay. I need you to place your hand in the bucket of water, your right hand and hold it in there until I tell you to remove it. Remove your hand from the bucket and place it on the towel. I need you to count backwards from 2043 by 17s as quickly as possible. If you make a mistake, you'll have to start over. So please begin, 2043 by 17s. 2043 by 17s. Okay. 2043 by 17s. Minus 20 is Put your 20, hand back 30. in the water. Oh my god, okay. This time I need you to count backwards from 4,032 by 13s. Oh, you changed the number! Oh my gosh, this is just gonna make me look so stupid! Start over. What is happening to this thing right now? Start over. Okay. Please continue. Okay, 4,032. My set. It's 4,022. Okay. It was, it was the 19 one, right? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Got it. Okay, you may remove your hand. 2026, then it's 2000, 2009. 90. Put your hand back in the water. Yay, yay, yay. That concludes our test. You may remove your hand from the water. Ooh. I'm gonna start a timer. <laughs> so I'm so sorry I had to be so mean to you in there. Why did you have to be so stoic? That's part of making you stressed is by not giving you any verbal or visual cues to, of whether or not you're doing well or whether or not you're doing bad. If I were to say like, yeah, you can do it or that's correct, keep going or even saying, no, that's wrong, try again. Like even any kind of visual or verbal cues would have helped you relax a little bit and I wanted to keep you on edge. I'm gonna have you stand there with your arms at your side for about a minute, I'll be timing you, and then I will give you instruction as to which um, arm to lift up. Okay? All right, so number one and number two, if you would come in please. 
Once the test was over, Barry, who's a trained odor grader, and I got very, very intimate. Do you know how many armpits you've smelled in your lifetime? Okay, ladies, you're gonna lift your right underarm up. The odor graders have a numeric scale that they grade odor on, zero being no smell, 10 being extremely smelly. Tell me what you do here. So I'm the head of sniffing. Okay. So I sniff under people's sniff. arms, I sniff their feet, I sniff their breath, and if we're doing a feminine hygiene product, I'll be sniffing a used pad. So pad you literally smell vaginas and yeah. penises. Yeah. Not penises, okay, just so vaginas. I... <laughs> <laughs> Gross. So if you had to choose between smelling armpits, used pads, breath and feet, you can only choose one, you've smelled the rest of your life, what would you choose? I'd have to go with feet. Feet? I'd have to go with feet. What? Why? Yeah. I don't know. I love it. I love what I do. Every single test is different and every client wants something different. On a very standard DO study like you were in involved in today, we're looking at the intensity of the body odour. Okay. So we want to see how intense the smell was under the arm that was treated and the arm that wasn't treated. In your case, it was really low. You only had a marginal smell compared to some of the other ladies on the study. At that point, the worst was pretty much over and after grading my pits for odor and sweat production, I moved on to the heat test. We're gonna be in the hot room for about 50 minutes. You're gonna be sitting for 30 and then you're gonna be walking around these chairs for 20. I had to wear these absorbent pads under my armpits to collect all my sweat for analysis later. It was pretty gross. 40 seconds. And then we're gonna start walking when the timer goes off. Okay, ladies. You're gonna start going this way and you're just gonna walk for 20 minutes. Considering this my exercise for the day. Hey ladies, you can find your seats for me. What we're actually doing now is, after before you went into the hot room, we weighed your vial. Now we know that the pad weighed 20.647 grams. We want to now see what your sweat added to that pad weighs so okay. that we can kind of work out then if the product's been working for you. I can't not believe he's doing this math in his head right now. Point four less on the product side than I sweat the... less on the product side. You did. You being, I'm guessing you're of Asian descent. Yes, um, Chinese. The, the, so there are certain um, areas of Eastern, coastal China, Japan, and, and places like that that actually don't um, don't make the apocrine glands um, at, and, all. at all. And so what happens is, is um, the way that you might notice it personally is you would have a different kind of earwax than other people. So because I mentioned Wait. that the apocrine glands are in the ear canal as well, so they actually. What does that mean? So um, someone who has activated apocrine glands, their earwax is going to be very waxy and kind of um, will have some color to it, maybe like a yellow tint to it. Whereas people who don't have active ap apocrine glands, it's going to be more hard, crunchy, crusty kind of a thing. Wait, that's like TMI, but that's literally my earwax. Is it really? See? Yeah, I have so, like really like weird earwax. I guess not that weird. I always thought it was just me. You would still, even under stress, create odor, it would just be odor from the eccrine gland sweat, as opposed to the rancid odor that comes from apocrine gland sweat. You hear that? <laughs> that means I'm not that smelly. <laughs> Fresh. At the end of all the testing, the scientists found that I had a 59% reduction in sweat production on the arm that I did wear the antiperspirant on, and I also scored an odor of zero, which basically means the antiperspirant worked. I have a little microscope with me what? that I can show you on the tip of your finger, your sweat glands firing. Do you want to see? Wait, yes, that sounds so go. cool. Okay, so here we go. That one's just now firing. And if you stay with it, you saw it just then reabsorbed. So what'd you think? How crazy was that? All in all, even though I was scared shitless to do some of those tests, I'm looking at you oral math, I actually had a really fun experience and I learned a lot. I mean, I had no idea the science of sweat was so complex. Zero to 10, what would you give this side? Like a, like a six. 
Yeah, and what about that side? Like a zero. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this experience and let me know if you would try this test and what you want me to try next on Beauty With Me in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for joining me on that experience. Let me know if you would try this test and what you want me to try next on Beauty With Me in the comments below and click here to subscribe to Refinery29 and click here to watch more videos. Bye.